Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through electronic mail guys. Okay, so after this lecture, we'll be going on through different different protocols. We'll be starting with SMTP, I think. So after this lecture, don't worry. Okay, so first let us go through the introduction of ele electronic mails. Okay, so electronic mail or simple email is one of the most popular network service, right? So even today, we'll be using email services, right? To send a official, we'll be sending any kind of letters or anything, we'll be using the mail service only, right? Yes. So we'll not be sending WhatsApp or anything, right? So we'll be sending the mails only it's for any kind of official things I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So first let us go through the architecture and service. So the email system consists of two subset sub systems guys. That is nothing but user agent and message transfer agent. So user agent is nothing but the guy or someone who is using it. Okay. And the message transfer is nothing but the message who is moving this moving the message from source to destination you can say in that way okay so user agent so these agents will allow the people to read and send mails so these are programs at the client side that provides a a combining a, okay i think it is combined a combined based or a command based or menu based or graphical based method Okay, so basically user agent is a simple code guys, you can say like we use Gmail, right? So in Gmail, you can compose a mail, you can send a mail, like there are multiple options, right? Yes. So all those functionalities are available in the user agent. Okay. Similarly, message transfer agent. So these agents move the message from source to destination. Yes. So the persons are, those are not persons, but the thing which transfers them is nothing but that program or that block of code is called as a message transfer agent okay so now let us go through some basic functionalities of any kind of email guys so the first functionality is a compose the process of creating or writing a message is called as composing so we'll be saying like your your boss or your faculty will be saying right compose a mail to me about the event that and this or about your leave or anything right so that compose is nothing but writing Transfer is nothing but send or transfer a mail from sender to the recipient. Guys, don't confuse about recipient. Recipient is nothing but you can, in simple words, you can say receiver, guys. Or for whom you are sending. Okay. So, establishing connection is mandatory. So, establishing connection is nothing but you can, in simple words, you can say having an internet connection or, sorry, having an introduction will not be a good example for that. So, you can say that having a, his email ID. So, where, he, where you should send it. So to that email ID you should send. So the email ID should be known to you. Okay. So after that reporting. So the process will inform the sender about the mail sent. So if you this thing we might not observe commonly right. Yes. So whenever you send a mail. Once open your check sent box guys. So in sent box you will be having that mail. So that is nothing but reporting. So you are getting an information that the mail has successfully sent. So try entering some random email ID which is not even existing or any kind of domain names which are wrong. Okay. Or which a Gmail cannot send. So in that situation, so in the sent box, you'll be getting an error with a red exclamatory mark saying that this email did not send or message, did message unable to send in that way. So that is simple what you can say it as reporting. Similarly, displaying, showing or displaying the received mail. So if you observe, you can see all the mails that you received. Right. So that is nothing but the displaying. Again, disposition. So it concerns about after receiving the email, what recipients wants to do, whether he want to read and delete or read only or read and save or delete. So there could be multiple options, right? So that comes under disposing. Okay. Similarly, few services which we will be having is mailboxes. So to store all the emails, we'll be saying that it is mailbox. Similarly, mailing list. So mailing list is a particular list of emails which you can send in a single click. Okay. Similarly, advanced features like priority based emails, encryptions and automatic replies and all those things. Okay. Okay. So if you, if you ask for a small diagram for this, so the flow will be in this way. So basically you are a user. Okay. And similarly, your friend is also a user to whom you are sending. Okay. So you'll be writing your code and you'll be, sorry, you'll be writing your mail and you'll be giving it to MTA client. So he will be transferring it to the mail server and that mail is sent via internet to the opposite side mail server like your client or your friend's mail server and again that is read from there and again the user will be getting it. Okay. Okay. So the flow will be in this way guys. Okay. So a sender clearly mentions the sender address, receiver's address, 
the message as an envelope so basically on envelope also you'll be writing the senders and the receiver right so where you're sending you will be writing there and who you are also you will be writing there right so similarly here also you'll be doing the same format okay so similarly if you take a small example of a normal mailbox it will be in this way so you'll be having a serial numbers guys i'm talking about the older mailboxes like how they used to look okay so he, there you'll be having the serial numbers of mails one two three four and so on and similarly you will be having a flag so here flag indicates that whether the mail has been read or not read or that kind of operations so similarly here k is nothing but not new means it is already read k is nothing but a read and answered also you replied for it and kf is nothing but you read but it and you forwarded it also similarly if it is empty you didn't read or you didn't do any operation on it okay so you'll be having the sender application senders also and you'll be having a message like starting some characters like 1 to 20 or something like that and similarly you'll be having the size at the end okay so in this way it will be looking guys okay so now let us go through the messaging formats so basically these things you will be observing in your while sending your mail also okay so the format that we will be describing here is nothing but rfc 822 guys we are not using this thing now so we are using completely different thing which we'll be discussing in our next lectures don't worry okay so it consists of multiple headers and all the body okay so the header fields will be in this way so whom you are sending so two cc is nothing any kind of secondary emails so you'll be observing these things also in gmail also so two means so to whom you are sending and cc is nothing but some kind of friends whom you want to send that extra link so this is the main person you want to send and these are some kind of extra emails or secondary emails or secondary recipients you can say for them you are sending and similarly we are having bcc that is nothing but you will be sending a copy for them okay so it is called as blind carbon copy okay and from whom you are sending and the sender email id receiver email id and return path like if they reply where you should get it okay similarly we are having reply to and we will also specify the date and message and subject so these is the all about the electronic mail the basic electronic mail okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the electronic mail so in the next lecture we'll be going on through mima guys so this is one of the protocol which is really important and which which we are using even nowadays okay so that full form is nothing but multi-purpose internet mail extension guys this is nothing but an extension basically the electronic mails there are some drawbacks in that like you cannot send images you cannot send videos you cannot send audios and those kind of things only textual messages or ascii valued messages can only be sent in a normal electronic mail so an extension for that is nothing but mima that is nothing but multi-purpose internet mail extension okay so we'll be discussing about that in the next lecture guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching